Hi all, welcome to the series of uh, computer science lectures for Polytechnic lecturer and assistant professor in computer science and information technology for the co coming PSC exam. And today it's Friday, so we are starting with module 2. Module 2 is digital and microprocessor. Today I'm going to start with microprocessor. Okay, first let me uh, give you two previous questions and I'll discuss the answer also. Okay. First question, a microprocessor can be programmable, non-programmable, microprogrammable, all the above. What is the answer? And this is a previous year question which is asked in Kerala PSC 2020 higher secondary teacher exam. Okay. This is a previous year question. A microprocessor can be programmable, non-programmable, C microprogrammable and option D all the above. What is the answer? Can you guess it? Can you answer it? Correct answer is option D, all the above. Uh, let me give you a simple uh, introduction for microprocessor. You can do this in, uh, you can do the, you can study this, okay, in the textbook or through Google or any other computer science lecture webs, uh, web websites like Geek for Geek or something else, okay. A microprocessor is an important part of a computer architecture without which you will not be able to perform anything on your computer, okay. And it is a programmable device that takes an input, performs some arithmetic and logical in, um, operations over it and produces the desired output, okay. The microprocessor is an processor is an important part of computer architecture without which you will not be able to perform anything on your computer it is a programmable device that takes in that takes in inputs and performs some arithmetic and logical operations over it and produces the desired output in simple words a microprocessor is a digital device on a chip that can fetch instructions from memory decode and execute them and give results what is a microprocessor in a short form which is a digital device on a chip that can fetch instructions from memory, decode and execute them and give the execute them and give the results. This is what a microprocessor. And the basics of microprocessor are a microprocessor takes a bunch of instructions in machine language and executes them, telling the processor that what it has to do. Microprocessor performs three basic things while executing the instruction. One, it performs some basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and some logical operations using its arithmetic and logical unit ALU. New microprocessors also perform operations on floating point numbers also. Data in microprocessors can move from one location to another. Entry, it has a program counter PC register that stores the address of the next instruction based on the value of the PC. And multiprocessor jumps from one location to another and take decisions. And you can uh, just go through the simple um, what, diagrams of microprocessor and all. Okay. And just, ki just give one definition okay you can uh, post this uh, to get the note uh, to read what it is microprocessor definition and then read this one so okay post it and read it and the next question we are moving on to the next question okay question is which is a 16-bit microprocessor option a is z80 b motorola 6800 c intel 8086 d intel 8486 okay think of think about the question and answer it okay what is it? The correct option is option What is the correct option? Which is a 16 bit microprocessor? Option C, Intel 8086. Okay, correct option is option C, Intel 8086. It's a 16 bit microprocessor. Okay. In this, oh, oh, I am, okay, uh, I rearranged, I think, 
<laughs> the options order is changed in this answer okay it's uh, whatever the answer is in the light node 86 is the 16 bit microprocessor okay and let me tell you simple points about all this microprocessor is a deity is a deity cpu is an 8 bit based microprocessor okay which is an 8 bit based, based microprocessor it was introduced by zilog in 1976 as the startup company's first product okay and the Zilog is a deity was a software compatible extension and en enhancement of the Intel 8080 and like and like it was mainly aimed at embedded system okay it was mainly embedded at embedded system okay and the important points are which is an 8-bit microprocessor Zilog Z80 was a software compatible extension and enhancement of the Intel 8080 and it was mainly aimed at embedded system okay and then second one Motorola 6800 it is an eight this is also an 8-bit microprocessor designed and manufactured by motorola the 6800 architecture and instruction set were influenced by then popular digital equipment corporation pdp 11 mini computer this is not an important point okay the 6800 has a 16-bit address bus that could directly access 64 kb of memory and 8-bit bi-directional data bus okay mm -hmm. this is the point okay and it has 72 instruction with 7 addressing modes. The original MC6800 could have a clock frequency up to 1 MHz. These are the important points which is an 8-bit microprocessor, 16-bit address space that could access 64 KB of memory and 8-bit bidirectional data bus is there. 72 instructions with 7 addressing modes is there. Original MC8600 could have a clock frequency of up to 1 MHz. Okay. And the next one, Intel 8 node 486 which is also known as I486 or 486. It is a higher performance follow up to the Intel 8 node 386 microprocessor. This is 8 node 486. Okay, it is a follow up to the Intel 8 node 386 mega microprocessor. And it is a 30 bit, 32 bit processor, bus with 32 bits, and uh, main memory 4 GB and virtual memory 64 terabyte. And uh, a 50 megahertz 8 node 486 executes around 40 million instructions per second. Okay, a 50 megahertz for 8 node 486 executes around 40 million instructions per second. It is able to reach 50 MAPS peak performance. Okay. If that is 50 million instructions per second it could be able to reach okay it could be able to reach 50 maps peak perfor uh, performance maps means million instructions per second okay and the next one coming to our answer intel 8086 which is a 16-bit microprocessor chip designed by intel between early 1976 and mid 1978 when it was released and it is a 16-bit processor okay it is a 16-bit processor data bits data bus is 16 bits address bus 20 bits addressable memory 1 mb okay the memory is divided into odd and even banks it is accessed both accesses both banks currently to read 16 bits of data in one clock cycle the intel 8 note 88 is a slightly modified chip with an external 8-bit data bus the 8086 gave rise to the x86 architecture which eventually became intel's most successful line of the processor okay we already know this uh, we all mm, studied this 8086 in beta uh, microprocessor subjects i think okay so i think you have a little bit memory of this and which is data by 16 bits and address with 20 bits okay don't forget that and the memory is divided into odd and even banks it accesses both banks concurrently uh, to read the 16 bit of data in one clock cycle okay and the intel 8 note 88 is a slightly modified chip with an external 8 bit data bus here it is 20 bit uh, sorry 16 bit data bus and a 20 bit address bus okay and uh, um, let me tell you some more important uh, microprocessor uh, intel 8, 8 this one intel 8 note 86 is a 16 bit microprocessor okay and intel 8 note 8 not 8008 is a 8-bit microprocessor and Intel 8080 this one 8086 right 8080 is also an 8-bit microprocessor after this they developed a they developed 8086 which is a 16-bit microprocessor okay remember before the 8086 there was 8008 and 8080 uh, 8080 which is also 8-bit microprocessor okay 
and there were Zillow Z80 which is also 8 bit microprocessor and Motorola 6800 which is also uh, 8 bit microprocessor okay given this all uh, all other three options are 8 bit uh, microprocessor okay and uh, one more okay, 8.51 8.51 is also 8 bit microprocessor okay just remember with this numbers in the light note 6 before the uh, all other numbers coming to um, coming prior to 8086 is all 8 bit microprocessors and eight, in the light note 866 16 bit processor in the light note 486 is a 13 bit okay processor okay thank you and uh, try to read uh, more about these topics okay i'll cover all the previous year questions uh, this also this also this question is also a previous year question in the uh, psc uh, higher secondary school exam which was in 2011 okay you can expect these kind of questions from the psc test for lecture in computer engineering and assistant professor in computer science and um, information technology which is also an upcoming exams from psc okay and you can i'll give you uh, from today on i'll update more uh, previous questions and i'll stick to the timetable and schedule which i already given in i think in october or december uh, I took a, a long gap uh, because of some personal issues and uh, I'll try to upload more uh, lecture videos and previous year questions from today onwards and tomorrow uh, it's Saturday right Saturday's module uh, one module one is network uh, internet security and digital computer okay I'll I'll give you more uh, sorry not digital computer data data communication and I'll give uh, I'll upload questions previous year questions for this topic tomorrow and thank you for watching and try to uh, try to do more um, more and more previous year questions for the exam then only you can practice exam with high rank thank you